Senator, thank you very much for your time. You must be tired at this point. You've been working awful well, hard. It, 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 we've had a successful conclusion. That's all that matters. Well, well congratulations. Let's talk about that successful con conclusion. We know the outlines. Uh -huh. We believe we know the outlines of the deal, uh, mm -hmm. exactly what was going to happen. There's going to be some more money put forward for the barrier, whatever you want to call it. There's some other border security. But I also talked to Nita Lowy, uh, whom you know well, I've been working with on yes. this, yesterday. And Nita Lowy, the chair of the Appropriations Committee, said there's a lot of other things in there. I understand this is over 1,000 pages long. How how do people who are going to vote on this know what's in this bill? Well, I think you have to remember that the, the other six bills that were uh, that are concluded in this have pretty much been uh, out in the open since they were passed through the uh, appropriations committees. They haven't changed significantly and probably maybe even not at all. The Homeland Security bill, which was my part of the bill, is the one that's been the source of contention. It's probably had the most moving parts, and I think we've been pretty explicit on what's in it. Uh, I don't think you'll find anything surprising or uh, unknown, and, and so I think with with those a lot of the portions already being very well known i think the portions that might not have been well known are being studied as we speak uh, senator as far as you're concerned with respect to the border security issue does this take care of the issue for the foreseeable future or we're we gonna have to come back to this every year and revisit it well this is only a one-year appropriations bill which i kept trying to make that point you know we just got to get over the one-year hump here but it's part of a larger plan the border patrol uh has has a 17-point plan this gets us just to their third point uh, of 55 new miles of barrier, 200 more agents, uh, more money in technology. So uh, this is a gradual process. You can't do it in one year. And I think over the 10 year span, I think we'll see huge improvements, but it is something that we're gonna have to talk about and then see what effect uh, the dollars that we've put in is having and where we can make improvements. Well, as I say, congratulations on getting it done. I, we are assuming the president's going to sign it. Time will tell, but we assume that it's going to get signed and it'll get yes. done. Let me just turn briefly to another subject, and that is the sure. question of stock buybacks, because we had one of your Republican colleagues, Mr. Rubio, yesterday come out and say he wants to change the tax law to discourage buybacks. Uh, it, there seems to be a growing groundswell on the Democrats and the Republican side to do something about curtailing stock buybacks. Have you taken a look at that, and do you have a position on whether something should be done, whether it's Senator Rubio's approach or another one? Well, I do think we need to look at what effects the tax bill has had. And as in my state, I can tell you they've been very, very positive. In terms of stock buybacks, I think, uh, you know, right now, I, it's something that we would all look at. I certainly would look at. But I, I, I think it may be too early to tell what real effect all of this has had. Uh, and I'll be talking to Senator Rubio about his bill. Is there a perception of your constituents back in West Virginia that the corporations, the large corporations, benefited more than the individuals did? I mean, did your constituents feel they really personally benefited? from this. Absolutely, my constituents are getting more on their paycheck. Their wages have been going up, and you got to remember, West Virginia had a really rough time with the with the massive downturn of our coal economy, and we are on the upswing. and And a lot of this has to do with reinvestment of capital that's occurred because of the tax issue. We're talking about opportunity zones in a in a big way in a state like ours. So I think the optimistic feeling in my state is a result of the tax bill, uh, some and the regulatory relief, and so they feel very much. Uh, um, um, a positive, I think, towards the tax reform bill. Finally, Senator, has yeah. President Trump lost any of his luster in your home state of West Virginia? Not really, because the president said he understood. He understood what West Virginians, how we felt. Uh, remember, during the Obama administration, we had massive, uh, our coal industry was just decimated, and that a lot of industries that went with it. Really sad to see. The president came in and made the case that he could make it better. It is better. Right. And so I think the president remains very popular. Okay. And the president's doing what he said. That's where people where I live do what you okay. say you're going to do. Thank you.